Max from uh, Baxley, Georgia. Uh, peanut farmer, cotton farmer. On the weekends, we tractor pull uh, with a group called the Southern Pullers. Uh, affiliated with uh, Lucas Oil Pro Pulling League is who we're uh, partners with in this pulling organization. Pull all over Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina. Uh, so we, we do a good bit of pulling. And uh, this class is called uh, Super Farm. Farm tractors, but they're highly modified, uh, limited to one turbocharger, uh, approximately a thousand horsepower. Uh, that kind, of 35 mile per hour wheel speed, maybe 40. Uh, pulling a sled, weighted uh, 50,000, 60,000 pounds. Uh, object, pull the sled far as you can. It's a transfer machine. Gets harder to pull the further we go. Tracks 300 foot long, so. You know, anything over 300 is a full pull, pull. So, uh, can you get full pull? Though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, do they change the speed of that weight? Can, they, he can change the weight that's in the sled plus the speed of the transfer. So, uh, do they do that as the night goes on? Or no, stays? just for the class. Okay. He changes it per class because we have six classes here to run. Okay. This is the only class of tractors that we run. Mm -hmm. We run five classes of trucks mm -hmm. two wheel drive and four wheel drive trucks. I see. So, uh, and what will the winner take home tonight? It varies according to the class. Anywhere from two hundred to five hundred dollars to win a class. So we're not in it for the money. Uh, we just like we like to pull. We like to try to pull. We use uh, Lucas Oil treatment in our engine for uh, oil sta stabilization. Yeah. And uh, use their treatment also in the rear end transmission from, from Lucas. My son Brandon, who is sixteen, mm -hmm. he just started pulling back during this spring. So. Uh, He's a new puller, but he's probably made 25, 30 passes with the tractor this year. He's got a good bit of experience. He surely has. Now, I've been doing it for 20 years. Now he's old enough to drive. Uh, he's been doing the driving since he turned 16. And also, uh, we got a lot of safety equipment on this tractor. Mm -hmm. We got a blanket around the clutch. Mm -hmm. So if the clutch explodes, it'll catch it. Mm -hmm. We have to wear a five-point harness, uh, neck restraint. Mm -hmm. Full helmets, full fire suits. Um, have a device that hooks. Also, when you hook the sled with a chain, mm -hmm. we also hook a small chain yeah. that can kill the engine in case something breaks. Yeah. So yeah. we have a lot of uh, safety devices on these tractors. Have skid bars on the front in case the front axle breaks out. Mm -hmm. We can. Uh, it'll catch the front end and uh, <laughs> not, not, not get on the front. You're looking for? That's right. Okay. Distance. And the secret to that sled is get it going as quick as you can and let speed help you. Yeah. So we're when all hit the ground, you're gonna start. We're all trying to run like a drag race, basically. Okay. And we're just dragging fifty thousand pounds behind us. Which is not normal. Stephen H. Mitchell from Lumber City, Georgia. Okay. Uh, Super Farm tractor. Uh, been involved about six years with it. Uh, this is the third year with this tractor. Uh, we uh, we pull in South Georgia, North Florida, and the lower part of Tennessee. Uh, we got a 500 cubic inch John Deere engine, uh, 8410 sheet metal. Uh, performance transmission, everything on it for high performance. Well, uh, I'd like to thank uh, uh, my daddy, Mr. Harry Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell Farms is my sponsor. Uh, got special help from Rodney Swift and Kevin. And most of all, I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for being my savior and uh, giving me the strength to do this. And to, and guide me through. Uh, W.C. Yates, we come from Concord, Georgia, a couple of hours away. Uh, we're in the ready-mix concrete business. Uh, truck is sponsored by Yates Concrete, family-owned business. We've been pulling for about four years now. We started with a small block motor, an automatic transmission. Ran one season like that. Uh, we was off a season. We rebuilt the truck completely. 
run a 500 cubic inch engine, put out about 900 horsepower. We uh, ran last night, we got into the pull off. We finished second place, we were behind the Stampede truck, Pat Hope's truck, Blue Ford there. Mm -hmm. Like I said, been doing it about four years. It's a family thing, it's a good sport. Uh, encourage anybody to get into it they want to and anybody to come to it. Good sport. E-R-E double T. We pull the Go Runner pulling truck in the modified uh, four wheel drive division. Uh, we have a 650 cubic inch engine, uh, natural aspirated. I've uh, been pulling for 37 years. Uh, we've enjoyed it, as you would think, because we wouldn't have done it 37 years without enjoying it. And most of all is my wife enjoys it along with me. And I also have a son in North Carolina who drives when we get the truck to North Carolina. So I pull with two, three, actually three associations. I pull with Southern Pullers, which is the one here in Tipton, Georgia. I pull with North Carolina uh, UPOC and pull with them. And then I pull with National Truck and Pullers Association in Region 4. See a lot of pullers, enjoy a lot of pullers. Most of the pullers are very, very friendly. And it's not a, it's not a backbiting contest like in some 